Hi Virgo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for July. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at a connection that you have with someone. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you definitely do have to know each other. So we're going to take a look at the energies between you, how you're feeling about each other, um, clarifying that energy with the tarot, and then we'll get advice, uh, guidance, possible outcome. And there will be an extended at the um, end. Link will be below. If you'd like to go to the extended, we'll look at uh, the future energies. If you take action, what will happen? If you wait for them to take action, what will happen? And then uh, we'll also pull some messages of love oracle cards. And I'll use another tarot deck for those energies. And any energies in this reading that need more clarification, I'll also use that deck. And we have some letter tiles here. So I'll pull some letters in the extended also. See what we get. Words, initials. See how that resonates for you. So welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. Please only take how it resonates for you. If it does not resonate, totally fine. You can check the description box below. Tons of information down there. Your playlist, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for private reading. All that is below. And if you're new, please feel free to um, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. A lot of uh, variety of readings available on the channel. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. All right, so Virgo. First card here we have here is a Zodiac card. So it could be a sign, element, or planet. We'll see how that plays into your reading. And with this deck here, we're going to get an opening message and a closing message for you on this connection for Virgo. Spirit, please, thank you so much on this love connection. Whoever Virgo is thinking about at this time. All right. And then we'll get one for your closing connection. Your closing message for this connection. What Virgo, please. Thank you so much. I'm feeling this one. I'll show you that at the end. All right. So let's see what we have here. So for your Zodiac, if you don't resonate with the Zodiac, totally fine. We have Venus. So this is the planet of love. So this is... Um, Libra, Taurus, doesn't have to be, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So this definitely, Venus is love, so this definitely is talking about love, love and beauty, um, all the wonderful things about love. Let's see what the opening energy message is on your connection. Sensitivity, and we have 12 here, which is 3. A 3 is... Um, Teamwork, collaboration, reuniting, uniting, coming together. I mean, it can indicate a third party, but doesn't have to be. But somebody uh, may be sensitive to other people's actions towards other people, even if it's just towards friends. Um, somebody may get, you know, a little bit jealous or a little, you know, defensive or argumentative if they see the other, you know, talking too much to other people or especially of the opposite sex. Maybe just a very sensitive for them. Um kind of energy also so we'll see where this is going so let's get i'm going to get one for you one for the connection one for the mutual connection see how you're feeling about each other and mutually and then we'll get into the tarot so let's see what's going on here for virgo for virgo how is virgo feeling about this person and the connection how is Virgo's person feeling about them in the connection. What is the mutual energy between Virgo and this person? I'm feeling this one. I'll also also pull extra of these in the extended also on the future of this connection. So let's see, Virgo, how you are feeling. If you feel like energies need to be switched here, feel free to do that. Only take what resonates. Could be past, present, future. So take it how it resonates for you. So Virgo, for you, we have, this is coming out a lot. Wow. For all the readings I've been doing today, I think this reading came out in every reading so far. So we have 31, which is four, which is about stability and uh, foundations. So Our Lady of Sacred Sisterhood. And I know it says sister, doesn't matter, male or female, but that energy of sisterhood, whether it's male or female, is about feeling that soul connection, that soul tie, feeling like you're some from the same tribe same um energy so that's the connection i get with that so let's see how they feel our lady of passion which is a nine nine is about and you know coming to an ending or a completion of some sort 
but they have a lot of passion for you. So I feel like you feel the soul tie, but they just feel passion, very passionate energy. But let's see what the mutual connection is. And maybe this is a sensitive issue. You know, maybe you want more because you feel that tie and bond. You want something more stable and grounded, yet they just feel the passion between the two of you. And it could be a sensitive issue between the two of you. And that three could be about teamwork collaboration up here, which may be needing to work on that energy. Mutual connection here. Our Lady of Holy Fire. Wow. 39, which is 12, which is... Three, again, about working on this teamwork, collaboration, compromise. So there definitely is a lot of fire and passion between you. I see that. I see that. But I feel like you feel the passion too. There's like a lot of fire between you. But you also feel that soul tie and bond with them also. But they're coming through as just feeling passion right now. I feel like you want more than the passion. But there definitely is a lot of fire and passion there. And I feel it could be a very sensitive issue, especially with Venus there. It does talk, talk about love. So I feel like you feel more love maybe towards them than they feel towards you. So, and maybe, you know, you feel if you tell them, I love you, I want more. Especially if you're just dating and they're seeing other people. Um, you may be afraid it may end because nine is about coming to an ending or a completion. Because then would be 10, which would be the ending or completion. So you could have fear that if you tell them you want more, it may end. So let's see. Let's get one more shuffle. Let's see what's going on here. So let's clarify these energies for Virgo spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. What do we have? One, two, three. Well, okay. So we have the four of pentacles. Yeah. You may be holding back your energy a little bit. This is, you know, earth energy with the pentacles. It's your energy. So you may be like, okay, well, if, you know, it's just passion between the two of us, I think I might just hold back my energy a little bit. Or this could be an energy of holding on, not letting go either. So let's see how they are feeling with this, the chariot. So this is, you know, cancer energy. You know, this is about positive movement forward. You know, it's about drive, ambition, uh, being victorious, but being balanced and making that positive movement forward and moving forward quickly. Could be also about travel. You know, maybe they have to travel. Maybe there's distance between you. So let's see what the mutual energy is. So, yeah, this is kind of like a sneaky, deceiving kind of energy with the Seven of Swords. I feel like they just rush in, they travel to you for the passion, and then they sneak out, they rush away. And I feel like you're, you're like, you know what, I'm tired of this, so I'm just going to hold back my energy and see what happens. Because we have 4-4. Four, four. I was to hold back my energy. I want something more stable and grounded than just passion. They're in and out for the passion. They, they don't care if they got to travel to you. <laughs> They'll travel any distance to get the passion, that holy fire between you. But then they're gone. And I think you know that. And now you may be in the energy, okay? I'm just going to hold back because I don't want just this in and out passionate energy. I feel like it's a very sensitive issue between the two of you. Something that needs to be worked on here. Well, they're just giving me three at a time. That's crazy. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're a little mentally trapped about this stuck in your head. You don't know what's going to happen here. You know, if you hold back, is this the end? If I keep holding on, it's just going to be the same thing over and over. Eight of Pentacles here, so this is about putting in the dedication and the hard work. And the Hierophant, yeah, mutual energy. So, <laughs> Taurus energy here. So this is higher levels of commitment in some way, shape, or form. So you both have eights on your side, each of you. So maybe, you know, maybe they think you're fine with just this in and out passion. And maybe secretly they want more than just passion too. They want to work on it. You could be the one that just wants the passion and doesn't want more. And maybe they're the ones that want commitment. They really want to drive this forward, drive this home. I mean, however this resonates for you. But, I mean, we do have this soul tie over here on your side, seeing, you know, you seeing this soul tie, or maybe you know there's a soul tie here, but you're a little afraid of it. So someone's afraid of this soul tie. 
maybe holding back because of it. But there is definitely a lot of passion here. And But the mutual energy is wanting more. The two of you want more, but somebody is in and out here with the Seven of Swords. But somebody definitely wants to work on it and drive this home, drive this forward. So let's get more. Yeah, confusion here on your side. So I feel like you're the one that's confused about whether or not to hold back or to keep giving to this connection. Taurus, uh, Virgo, I'm sorry. But I mean, uh, it could be switched around here. Let's see here. Knight of Wands. So there's that Sagittarius energy, in and out kind of energy. So it's like they come in and it seems like they're putting in the effort and the work on this, but then they come in with the passion and they seem like they're coming in with more than passion, but then they're gone again. And you're thinking, okay, this is commitment this time, and then they're gone again, which leaves you very confused and stuck in your head. And it's like you're holding on to them and can't let go, but yet wanting to hold back your energy because you're just unsure what's going on here. Yeah, equal give and take. So, but, and, you know, but the mutual energy is equal give and take, wanting equal give and take between the two of you. But we have more giving on your side than their side. So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's really imbalanced here. I feel like they're in and out for the passion. They come in seeming like, okay, this is going to be more. We're going to work on it. You know, this is going to level up. That's, you know, the impression they give, then all of a sudden they're gone again. And you're in a state of confusion. It leaves you in a very sensitive state. Like, what the heck's going on here? You know, I let them back in. It seems good. And then all of a sudden, boop, they're gone again. And, okay, so let's see here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you want that dedicated offer from them. You want that steady um, communication, that stable, grounded energy, that offer of commitment or something here, of leveling up. You're waiting for that, but it's not coming. It's in, it's out, it's player, it's, you know, they're in, they're gone, thinking, you know, <laughs> need this pentacle on this side, this offer from them to make it even on both sides of equal give and take. All right, so what else here? King of Wands, so Leo energy here. So they definitely have a lot of passion on their side. Wands, wands, wands. You know, the chariot moves forward, a lot of driving ambition and passion. Two of Cups, yeah, so... Oh, there is soulmate energy here between the two of you. But they, you know, they seem like they're coming in and they're wanting the soulmate union putting the dedicated effort in the hard work. They come in quick, but then they're gone. And you're thinking, okay, it's soulmate union this time. We're going to be committed. It's going to be equal give and take. And then they're gone again. And you're waiting for this message of dedication and off, an offer of some kind or commitment or leveling up. And you think it's coming and then it's gone. Virgo. Leaves you in a very sensitive state. It's a very sensitive, touchy topic with them. You're not sure what's going on here. Well, okay, let's get five on the bottom. So we've got the four of wands here. So this is my twin flame card. So this definitely could be a twin soulmate twin flame energy. But this is about wanting solid commitment, ceremonies, celebration. Could be marriage. You know, maybe you want marriage or just a solid commitment of some kind. You know, firm foundation here, page of wands. So, you know, waiting for that good news. This is the passionate communication comes in and you think it's leading to commitment. Then all of a sudden you see the truth and clarity of the situation here with the Queen of Swords energy. Could be um, Libra energy, doesn't have to be. So maybe, you know, putting up the sword once again and blocking them. You know, maybe you block them and unblock them, block them and unblock them. You know, you've been through a lot with this person, feeling hurt at times. I'll let you in, you're gone, and then what's going on here? Wondering, am I better off on my own? It's a single energy with the Nine of Pentacles, so you're wondering, maybe I should just cut them out for good and just be on my own, be single on my own, and, you know, wait for true love, new love and true love, someone that will give me their cup and not be hesitant and not want just passion, will want more, and will want this Ace of Cups, and will share their emotions, their feelings. And will want to be in this divine love and not just come in for passion and run. 
which leaves me hurt, confused, and needing to block them. You see, this woman feels very hurt and confused here. Better off on my own. Wow. Virgo, I feel like, you know, there is a lot of passion. There's a tie here. Could be definitely a twin flame. But you may be better off waiting for a soulmate than uh, the twin flame here. But that's totally up to you. So let's see what your closing message is. We have Reliable, 38, which is 11, half of the twin flame number, which is 2, which is about partnerships and unity. So is this person reliable? Can you rely on them? Will they level up? Will they, will they be that reliable person that you want, that you need? I feel like the fire here, again, they like they like the fire, but is that it? You know, should you wait out for a more reliable person than this person? So we're going to go into the extended and see, uh, clarify some of these energies, and we'll see what will happen if um, you step up to this person. What will the reaction be? If you withdraw your energy, what? If they'll take action, what kind of actions they would take, what would happen in the future. And we'll take uh, two more oracles here to see the future of this connection. We'll get some messages of love. And then we'll pull some tiles, letter tiles, see what letters, words come out for you, Virgo. So if you go to the extended, I'll see you over there. If not, and this is where we say goodbye, thank you so much. And best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.